Welcome to Bishop Aquatics. Today we're going to take a look back outside in our Phoenix location at our 20 tubs. And we're going to talk about an issue a little bit different. Um, when we set up our system, we had another goal in mind besides raising guppies and fine fish and plants and stuff like that. We wanted to take all the water from these tanks and grow food. We, we're really interested in gardening and growing food and making a complete system. So when we set up our out, outdoor system, we incorporated a complete, I guess a circuit, I guess you would call it a circuit. All of our tubs, which we have again, 20 of outside, are hooked up both in water, air, and one other important item, plumbing. Each tank is equipped with not only an overflow right here, so the water won't go over the top and you lose the fish, but also as a system of water change. To change the water, we simply just move down to whatever level we want to change the water to. Now, where is this water going and why do you want to save this water? Well, think about it. In your aquarium you have what are you getting rid of? Nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, and fish waste. What are nitrites, nitrite, nit nitrites, nitrates, ammonia, which is fertilizer, what is it good for? It's good for plants, it's good for gardens. So instead of throwing all this water, which is just filled with good stuff for growing plants, why throw it down the city sewer? It just doesn't make sense. Let's use that water. Let's use this, well, let's just call it what it is, fish poop, for a different purpose. And I did some studying and stuff on that, and we decided to go with a complete system. Now, let me show you, once again, what happens. You can see behind the tanks that all these are put into a sewer, into a, a, a plumbing system, a waste system. So every tub is all hooked together in one central waste system. On top of that, we've taken our indoor room with a sump pump, and that also is tied in right here to the plumbing system. So now we have 40 fish tanks. In fact, every fish tank in our system in Phoenix is tied into the same system. And where does this system go? Let me show you. Oh, let me show you one more thing. We talked about fish poop. Well, we take, our, we take our filters right here, and I'm just going to show you a demo. I'm not really going to show you. you know, and you wash your filter out here, so, you know, your bubble filter. All that waste is going down the drain, which is also tied into the sewer system. So not only do you get your water, but you get all your really concentrated waste. And we take that outside, and you can see right here, and it comes around and it goes into a central collection. This is a 50 gallon collection tub. And we wait till we get enough water. Now, what do we do with this water? Well, let me show you. We've got a sump pump here. Plug it in, and now we got our sump pump on. And let's take a look where we're going here. We've got that hooked up to a hose. And let's turn it on. And look guys, we're taking all of this water filled with nutrients, nitrates, ammonia, fish poop, and we're using it as natural fertilizer for our garden. Now what I've done, yeah, I have set up 60 10 gallon air pots with all kinds of um, gourmet vegetables. Not just raising, you know, your typical garden vegetables. We're raising, well, I've got a series of gourmet, not gourmet, I guess heirloom tomatoes, which I'm attempting to raise. And we've got all kinds of stuff like fruits, like strawberries, 
And again, though, don't don't judge me on my gardening because I am definitely an amateur gardener. But you, as you can see, we've set up quite a system here. More tomatoes. We're doing garden corn. We've got an archway here. And all of our garden is set up with vertical. It's, so it's a vertical garden. So like right here, this is cantaloupe. The cantaloupe will grow up and hang on the, on the vertical garden. We've got green peppers. These are uh, cucumbers. And in our archway, we've got lettuce, green beans, celery, um, spinach, radishes. We've got, of course, peas and sunflowers. What's up, boy? We have cats, obviously. We've got okra. More tomatoes. More okra. This is my potato patch, so we have gourmet potatoes. These aren't just regular tomatoes. We got purple tomato, purple potatoes, uh, fingerlings, which are the French fingerlings, the long skinny ones, in purple and red and golden. So it's 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 a all the vegetables are not standard. They're all gourmet vegetables. This is our flower pot. This is a hundred gallon air pot of carrots. More corn. zucchinis and flowers and cherry tomatoes and and then in the back I've just set up uh, four 100 gallon t uh, air pots and this is going to be my cornfield but as you can see guys how the fish hobby can merge into a beautiful garden. This is our watermelon patch. We have yellow watermelons, orange watermelons, all kinds of watermelons. So I just didn't do standard product. I did all the gourmet stuff. We got giant sunflowers and stuff like that. So guys, this is what we do with our fish water. Now you may not have this sophisticated system where you can, you know, you take your fish water and fertilize your plants again I want to emphasize we're not actually watering the garden with the fish water the whole garden is set up on a drip system because this is Arizona and you need a consistent water supply just throwing water in during the day I guess you could do it but when you've got 60 pots that's uh, everything has to be automated in my house so we've got a drip system on an automatic water that constantly drips the actual water for the garden now what we do because it's organic we're, we're running an organic garden we take the fish water and we do that every other day usually and um, supplement the you know the ground we're, we're enriching the, the soil and making it a totally organic garden but there is a huge difference you guys th this this fish water fish poop is just the most natural organic garden you can get it really is it's liquid gold and let me suggest this you don't like I started to say, you don't necessarily have an automated system, but why don't you take your buckets of water out of your 10 gallon aquarium change and pour it on your tomato plant. You'll get, you'll reap beautiful organic food. And coming up guys, you know, you were hearing that, you know, maybe we have a, um, you know, a national, you know, food shortage coming up. Well, raise your own food. See, here's, these are just um, tomatoes, volunteered from last year they just pop up but we're letting them grow but anyway guys we thought we'd show you the system because I'm really proud this is not really something we've shared before but this is something I'm really proud of because I'm enjoying eating fresh fr organic vegetables directly from fish guys Well, I hope you've maybe enjoyed this and maybe you've got an idea. I know it's it's a little bit of a ramble, but um, guys, this is something I'm personally excited about. And I really designed the whole system around that where aquaponics is probably a little tricky. At least it is for me. I'm not a, a scientist. I'm not, you know, I'm just an average Joe guy. 
and um, so aquaponics was a little bit more difficult and something but this really is pretty much the same thing you may not be raising the plants in the water but you're taking all this wonderful fish water that would be just thrown down the sewer and you're eating delicious food you're growing organic food with no chemicals no preservatives and it's not just the, that's not really the, it's not the food with the no preservatives it's the gourmet things that you can't buy in a store i mean we all know have you gone to the store and bought a tomato and enjoyed that thing it's awful have you gone in the store and bought a carrot that didn't taste like a piece of wood when you grow your own vegetables and stuff the easy carrots uh, lettuce tomatoes these things are really easy to grow but it's the flavor it's the taste it's the nutrition it's it's let's let's compare that to guppies you can go to the local big box store PetSmart, petco you can buy a three dollar guppy you can buy all you want they're probably disease ridden they're probably going to die very soon they're not the most attractive fish around or you can go to a specialist like bishop aquatics and you can get <laughs> show quality you know imported beautiful fish that just put a joy in your heart not not a three dollar fish you know i'd rather have a tub of full gold guppies think about this guys a hundred gallon tub outside put in a whole group of full gold guppies take the water and feed your garden how about that guys you get free fertilizer you get practically free food all within your current hobby to me i find that exciting anyway i have rambled enough and i thank you for watching our videos guys and please look forward we've got a lot of exciting things in the works here guys um we're trying to do some creative content for you and um I've got some other ideas for you too. So keep on checking with us guys. We're doing videos on a regular basis and uh, we're happy to help you out. We're starting our new uh, Discord and um, for discussion groups and answers and questions and all kinds of stuff like that guys. So keep in touch, like, subscribe, and share bishopaquatics.com.